Thank you, Seth. The wordsmith, spoken word artist, good music. What it means when someone runs their craft or, or, or uh, profession is simply that you eliminate competition because it's not healthy to compete, you understand? What you want to be able to do at all hours in your existence is to dominate. You want to be moving toward domination. Competition is only there so that you can move to a place of domination. The characteristic needed to run a particular field is you have to be assertive. That's the main thing. Having ideas and talent, they, we, oh, we overstate the importance of that. My aspiration is to run in particularly three categories. is design, which means conceptual design about the world that we live in. Next thing I want to dominate in the spiritual realm, you know, keeping myself together because I'm, you know, I'm particularly, you know, short-tempered and so on and so forth and have a pungent, a penchant for violence. I, I, I kind of enjoy that world. So I want to be able to keep myself calm and not be as, uh, as ostentatious as I am sometimes. I teach my kids that and I also want to master the concept of world diplomacy, of not, not looking at the places where we're different, but looking at the places where we share likenesses at that. And that's with anybody, race, creed, color, religion, ethnicity, nationality, whatever. And who and what inspires me to chase the dream is the ancestors, people that died believing that, that, a, that a person like me could come into existence. You know, from meager beginnings, you know, regular life and the whole nine and then to ascend to the to the levels of being on stages and being on red carpets and shaking hands with the Tom Cruises of the world or whoever else and sitting down and working with the Paul McCartney's that I've been able to do, you dig? And at the same time having the background where I was getting locked up every other day. Well I'm passionate about about that dream because, you know, born with three distant three different learning disabilities. I studied most of my life, you know what I'm saying, as a shorty. I studied all through school, couldn't read, couldn't write, dropped out of high school. Just, I really just couldn't get it. I just couldn't grasp it. But that's because I had these learning disabilities. And when I learned about the learning disabilities, I started, I figured out a way to learn. So when you talk about motivated by the lack, by not having it, my lack of talent, my lack of ability to, 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 to uh, be on par with my, with my, with my siblings and my contemporaries is what forced me to learn, what forced me to, to take the bus past the school and go to the library where I can learn at my own pace, you know what I mean? So that's what I think I'm motivated by what I don't have. And in order to run those three categories, it's about industrialization, building a process. Anybody that wants to run their craft and chase their dreams, I think you should be doing it. If you have a vision in your mind, you should be acting toward it. You know, and I say this in so many different uh, parts of my life. If you're an actor, you should be acting. You should be studying actors. If you're a dancer, you should be dancing and studying dancers. If you're a singer, singing, studying singers, a tailor, whatever you are, and all the turned up face and all that stuff, that takes you further away because the things you need, the resources you need are other people. And your face turned up, you ain't finna win nothing. You finna miss your opportunity and blessing. Like that. So I think if you wanna you wanna be able to get yourself settled, understand what you're projecting into the world when you move out into it, and then be about the business of doing the thing that you wanna become. This is Malik Youssef, and I run the hundreds.